Yo, so I know it's been a hot ass minute since I went over a little One Piece chapter, but this recent fucking 1085 chapter was so nuts I couldn't resist keeping my big ass mouth shut about it. I'm loving these fucking lore chapters and how long has it been, like 10 chapters or whatever since we've seen Luffy last? I'm not gonna lie, the stretches in One Piece where Luffy is absent are like the best fucking moments. Just look at the Odin flashback, that was one of my favorite little mini arcs in this whole little story. But that's enough of my rambling, let's get into the fucking chapter. So we start with Eam sitting on the throne and shit and Cobra freaking the fuck out about it. And then we see Eam talking about themselves in third person and calling themselves Moo. Not gonna lie, the only thing I could think of with this is if we don't get an Eam face reveal or anything like that anytime soon, we'll likely know what gender Eam is from the fucking voice actor in the anime, so I guess I got something to look forward to in 2025. Then we see that Cobra actually recognizes Eam's name from one of the first 20 kings or whatever, so Eam is 100% like 900 fucking years old. And then after that we finally get some fucking more shit about the D but it more so confirms shit that we already kind of suspected. Being that the D is pretty much a clan who opposed Eames people and shit. But then we get a little lore drop on Lily and her being the reason that Poneglyphs pretty much fucking exist in the first place. But of course after all of this information, all the Gorsai pull out their fucking strap on helpless old man Cobra. And then we get a big ass lore drop that I honestly thought was interesting as fuck. And it's that the Nefertari family is a D. Now that was pretty nuts to me because there are a ton of theories of Shanks being a celestial dragon and having the D and Cobra and Vivi are pretty much that. So I'm just confused as to why the fuck Eam even let these motherfuckers into the reverie if they got the D in their shit. It might have just been used to lower suspicion, but even then, if Eam really wanted to, that motherfucker could just blow up the entire fucking country of Alabasta. So just some weird ass reasoning here, but I'm pretty sure I'll get some kind of answer to that at some point. But after that, we see fucking Cobra get shot with a goddamn black arrow, literally an arrow, and Sabo hits Eam with a fucking he can, and Eam literally eats that shit. I mean, just fucking look, there's teeth and shit. And right here for me is the fucking highlight of the chapter, and it's all of the Gorosei and Eames transformation. And the first thing I instantly thought of was those big ass shadowy giants right before Sky P. Seeing that shit was so fucking eerie, and it hasn't gotten any explanation at all. I could just about guarantee that shit is connected to this in some way. Maybe it's the God's Knights, or whatever the fuck they're called. But the Gorosei clearly have some kind of animal inspiration for their transformation. One of them is very clearly a bird, and there's another one that's a fucking elephant or hippo looking thing. I don't want to get too far into this because we will see Saturn's version of this pretty soon and a hopefully not blacked out version. And I honestly don't think it's a devil fruit. I think whatever Eam and the Gorosei have is the same, it's just that Eames is significantly better. I kind of suspect that it might just be manifesting whatever the fuck they want since devil fruits are from people's dreams and shit. They probably know some kind of way to abuse that. Oh my god, what if the fucking Gorosei are like demons or aliens or some shit and this is like their true form? Not gonna lie, I would fucking hate that shit. That's some Naruto Shippuden shit. And I'm still not sure if the Gorosei are as old as Eam, I'm kind of leaning towards no, just because they at least acted like they didn't know what happened with Lily in the Void Sentry. They could easily be lying about it, but at the same time, they're going to kill Cobra anyway, so you might as well talk as much shit as you want, he's not making it out of there alive. Then I think we got a major ass clue as to what the D stands for when Cobra says some shit from Lily's letter, which was, fly the flag that heralds the world's eventual dawn. So it's been a little theory for a while now that the D stands for dawn, and I, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to invest some stock into that shit right now. Also, I just noticed that the fucking Gorosei and Eam were roaring and shit, and they look like fucking aliens in this panel, so it's clearly some kind of transformation. Hot take, I know. But that's about it for the super highlights of this chapter. Other than the return of Khalifa the Soap Woman, of course. How, how could I not mention that? Oh fuck, I just realized the fucking door motherfucker chill in the back. Oh shit. Pretty fucking crazy chapter. Can't wait to see what the fuck happens next week. Kinda hoping that we return to Egghead now, because I don't think there's a much more shit Oda will flesh out at this very moment. And it just makes sense because we just saw the fucking Gorosei's power. And Luffy is presumably either they're about to get fucking stomped by him or kill the fucker. I'm pretty fucking hyped. Egghead is without a doubt the best arc since Marineford and just post time skip in general. Oda's cooking, I can't even lie. We are about to see Luffy fight a Gorosei and Zoro presumably fight a fucking admiral. One Piece is in a good ass spot right now. So yeah, that's about it for the chapter. Sorry if I've been a little slacking on the uploads lately. I have been super fucking busy doing other shit and right now YouTube is kind of the one thing that I gotta take a backseat on for the next month or so. But I'll still be dropping every week, don't you worry. Also, one last thing. Would you fuckers be interested in me either reviewing spoilers as they come out or reacting to the chapters as they drop? It's just easy ass content and I'm not opposed to either. I'll even fucking hide myself from spoilers so I can fucking get some funny ass YouTube reaction moments because all the kids love that shit. But uh, yeah.